Welcome everyone to another great hour of NWA Mountain State Wrestling. I'm the graduate Michael Mann and my tag team partner, the outlaw rock star, the pretty boy redneck, your hillbilly hero, your redneck role model, sweet Stephen Hensley. Well tonight we have a great, great hour of action planned for you as the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Championship is on the line when the champion, King Richard, takes on Dwayne Tenney. And we also have Carl facing the uh, the legit hit Brian Kyle. There we go, your buddy, your buddy. I had to let you say your buddy's name. Proud to call him my friend, thank you. Yeah, good. Okay, well, we'll be right back after a word of how you can get NWA Mountain State Wrestling to your hometown. This is Commissioner Larry Light. If you'd like to see the great TV stars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling come to your town, give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web at mountainstatewrestling.com. Diablo Jr. walking around the ring there may want to take his time right now. I certainly want to be eager to step through the ropes and face my executioner, the bulldozer, if I was the junior heavyweight champion and won half of the world tag team champions. Yes, he has a lot of accolades, but he's giving up so much size in this contest that I can't believe that there are good things in store for him at the end of this night. Well, with size comes speed. So we'll have to see. Then we'll go to Jonathan Styles. First, from the Ricky Yard in Detroit, Michigan, at 450 pounds, the Superman, biggest man in wrestling, Bulldozer! One big tough customer there. Literally, literally shaking under his feet. And a bulldozer just tearing these kids up in the crowd. I don't get the point of that. You can't even hear the ring introduction right now over the jeers, over the disrespect of the fans for the bulldozer. But once again, as I said, week in, week out, the respect of the fans won't secure a victory. And as Diablo Jr. just got announced, he seems to be getting a pretty good ovation, so we'll just see when the match starts, what's going on. Those little kids in the front row may want to be careful about what things they choose to say to a man like the bulldozer. He's liable to go outside of their shirts, pick them up, and eat them like a bone the swing from Applebee's. Bulldozer picking on our ring announcer, Jonathan Stiles. Like, why would you... These defenses. And now the match is underway. We'll just have to see. It's a battle of speed versus just size and speed. So we'll see what's going on. And Diablo Jr. wisely moving out of the way of the big man. But you can't blame the bulldozer for getting in the face of Jonathan Stiles and trying to intimidate anyone with a healthy respect for outlaw announcers like myself would certainly get under Jonathan Stiles' skin. You may remember a few weeks ago, Jonathan Stiles was out here calling the matches like I am tonight. I challenged Jonathan Stiles on his best day to come out here and try to do commentary with the outlaw rock star of the pretty boy redneck, sweet Stephen Hensley. And you see, the big man, Diablo Jr., are circling each other in the ring right now. The crowd obviously behind Diablo, so we'll just, ooh, push it into the midsection, it hurts. And that was certainly not the best move you could have chosen to go with there, Diablo. Ooh, Diablo and a shoulder to... block attempt by Diablo Jr. on the bulldozer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You can't make that man move fast enough to knock over a tower in this business like the bulldozer. We'll just have to see these two men shaking hands in the ring right now. And now Diablo Jr. working the arm of bulldozer. So we're the head of that wrist lock. Comboing it with a series of headbutts to the elbow of the bulldozer, steps on the head, floats over, jumps down on the elbow of the bulldozer. You so, know, Diablo Jr. is using his, using his mind right now because he's working on that arm, trying to get that, some of the strength out of it. Certainly trying to use that technical skill, that mount wrestling ability that he has, coupled with his speed and his agility. It's going to take everything, everything Diablo Jr. has to win a contest like this against a man who has that much of a size advantage over him. And you see the reversal there, Diablo Jr. caught by a freaking jackhammer-like elbow to the jaw. And he goes down, crumpled like a pile of pebbles, and that's exactly what's going to happen 
when you go up against a man like the bulldozer because he will run over you. And you see the bulldozer just lean into Diablo Jr. with those giant mammoth-like boots to the back of Diablo. Picks him up, holding him up in the air, letting him get disoriented as the blood flows through his brain, slams him down to the mat That's and the cover. And a kick out by Diablo Jr. And you see Bulldozer cutting off the flow of air to Diablo Jr. Bulldozer just hammering away with that stiff shot to the head of Diablo Jr. And now Diablo Jr. with a shoulder block all into the big man trying to get himself out of that corner. Headbutts and now the roles are reversed and Bulldozer reversal back into the turn buck one just absolutely frees Diablo Jr. down to the mat. And you can see those shots, those forearm blows by Diablo Jr. to the Bulldozer where every bit is effective as a flies wings raising the side of a semi-truck. Well, we go for pinfall one, two, and a kick out by Diablo Jr. Going back to the pinfall, two, and another kick out. And you see the bulldozer just putting all of his weight on top of Diablo Jr., barely doing anything here, except making use of the distinct size advantage that he has over his opponent. He doesn't have to do a lot of work. He just has to keep himself in the right position. So that headbutt, you know, it rocked Diablo Jr., but it looks like it hurt the big man a little bit as well. Well, you may think that hurt the big man as well, and any time you use the full momentum at your disposal to use your head as a weapon against your opponent, yes, you do risk causing damage to yourself, but you have to remember he was the one that was in control when he delivered it, and as you see now, Frembley's still in control, backbreaker, and now just bending Diablo Jr. over his back, trying to snap him in half. Huge, four uh, huge elbow snap the midsection while he's down in that backbreaker position. And he just looks like, how long can the man hold out like this? But now, Diablo Jr. putting a little fight back into it. And he gets the hold broken. So now both men, both men, it looks like this match is taking a toll on both men. Big clothesline by Bulldozer and knocks Diablo Jr. to the mat. And it's like I was saying earlier, a man Diablo's size against a man Bulldozer's size, yes, he may get those shots in, but you have to remember how much power he has against a man like the Bulldozer. Those shots aren't nearly as effective as they would be under normal circumstances. He might get them in, he might catch a glancing blow, but it's going to take a whole lot more than striking blows by Diablo Jr. to put down the Bulldozer. He's got to come at him with a new game strategy. Otherwise, the Bulldozer is literally, literally, as his name says, Bulldoze right over top of Diablo Jr. This man holds two titles in NWA Mountain State Wrestling. You can't withstand the fact and see that it's the intelligence. He rolls him up and gets a two count right there. Well, it's wonderful that he can hold two titles in Mountain State Wrestling and go up against the Bulldozer. So when the Bulldozer takes his career, when the Bulldozer takes his life, he can say firmly on his epitaph, buried a champion. That is near fall two count right there after that huge, just massive sidewalk slam. And you may call that a kick out, but what that really was, was a death rattle. A death rattle by Diablo Jr., who is clearly, clearly not in control of this match and needs, needs, needs to be taken out of this situation. And he's working on the back once again. Going back to the back is Bulldozer, the big man. Showing some mat wrestling skills, and we'll just have to see how it goes from here. That's right, he's just driving that knee into the upper back of Diablo. But as soon as we start talking about the mat wrestling maneuver, Diablo Jr. firing back with elbows to the midsection, and a gigantic body slam by the Bulldozer. Good night, Irene. I can't believe he kicked out of that. What? What? What is Diablo Jr. thinking here? His junior heavyweight title isn't on the line. The tag team title isn't on the line. He's not going to pick up the victory. He might as well lay down there, let the big man go ahead and pin his shoulders to the mat so he can go home and rest up to defend the titles that he has. Because this is not, this is not a winning situation for Diablo. Any situation's a winning situation. You have to win the matches. It just makes you look better. That's why he's doing it. He's doing it for his credibility in the business. He might be doing it for a number of reasons, but at the end of the night, 
when he walks into the back and he can barely hold himself up anymore because he's been reduced to a pile of rubble by the bulldozer, it's not going to matter why he did it. The only thing that's going to matter is that the bulldozer won the match, the bulldozer hurt him bad, and he will not be in shape for title defenses. Well now bulldozer going after Diablo Jr. on the outside. And you see those blows to the back, and that has got to feel like a hammer against an anvil. The, kid, the kids in the crowd getting into the, or the bulldozer's head a little bit. But yeah. no, it doesn't affect him. He slams Diablo Jr. into the side of the ring turnbuckle. That Your is perception steel. in this match is severely skewed. The fans did not get into his head. He took a moment to let Diablo think he had an opening, but as soon as Diablo came down with that speed and that agility, attempted a high-risk maneuver, the bulldozer caught him, the bulldozer turned him around, and the bulldozer slammed him, slammed him, slammed him, straight into that ring post. And you see the bear hug going to work on the back of Diablo Jr. Once again, going back to the back of Diablo Jr. Oh, yeah, oh, the referee raised his hands up one. You have a three count right here. We'll see how Diablo Jr. comes out of this. The third time, and he's out. This match is over. Absolutely, it's over. I told you from the beginning, speed and agility versus a wrecking oh, machine a like the Bulldozer is not intelligent. Coming to make the save. And watch this, a cheap shot by Tenny. This is a contest between two grown men and Tenny. Tenny feels like he needs to come out here and make his mark on this match when he wasn't even involved. That wasn't a cheap shot. He was saving his tag team partner. If he wanted to save his partner, he should have kept him from walking hey, through the curtain. what the Bulldozer doing? Shoving an official of NWA down the state. Look at the reckoning, knocking out the Bulldozer. And you see the referee trying to separate these two giants in the ring. I don't know that that's an intelligent decision at all. And you see Tenny looking at the Bulldozer. He may want to go over and see if his partner even has a pulse at this point. And the bulldozer's just daring him, daring him, daring him to walk past the referee and confront him. What a great match we just had. What a big and agile man is the bulldozer. Who can stop him if anybody, if anybody can? Now let's go to some words from the big man, followed by some words from our sponsors. <sighs> Once again, another victim, Diablo Jr. That was too easy. Dwayne Tenney, you want to get in my way? Next time, you're going to be like what your little partner was. And that's incapacitating. Because Bulldozer crushes all. <laughs>